What is up? What is up, everyone? So today I am coming to you with one of those life lessons that just seems to be the, the thing that keeps like recycling my life and that's helped me so much. And these two books are a huge part of it. So Perfect Day Formula, highly recommend. We'll talk about this in a second. And Max Out Your Life by Ed Milet. And so what we're going to talk about today is something that Ed Milet talks about a lot. And he basically says that we all have like these thermostats in life. And let's talk about a thermostat real quick. So basically what that means is like, you know, we have a certain goal, we have a certain threshold, we have a certain level of either things that we're willing to tolerate or a certain goal of things that we're wanting to get to. And so once we get to those things, everything else just settles in and cools off. So the explanation is this. So like if you had your thermostat in your house set at 75 degrees and it's 85 degrees outside, you open up a door, you leave the doors open, hot air starts coming in, what happens? That thermostat clicks on and it keeps going until it brings you back to 75 degrees, it gets there and it stops. So a lot of this is like people that are like, I wanna lose 10 pounds. And they try so hard to lose seven, eight, nine, they lose that 10th and then they stop. When really the person probably should have said, I need to lose 15 pounds so I settle in at 10. Make sense? So the whole idea is like anytime that you get stuck and you hit this plateau on either side of either um, not knowing how to raise the bar or not knowing how to raise your expectations of what you're willing to accept, there's two things. And this is something that I've always used as like my emphasis. This is something that I used last year during quarantine when I was needing you know, to learn quickly, like what do we need to do to like make this business sustain uh, you know, throughout a closed gym? Like that's uh, unconceivable of like kind of the idea if you would have told me that in 2019. So this has happened then, this has happened over the course of like the last 10 years of LiveFit. And it's really nuts to kind of think of like the evolution of this whole thing, but we are on year 10. And we're going to talk about kind of the history of LiveFit and some of these other things in future videos. But here's the whole thing. When you get stuck, you either need new knowledge or you need new goals. And a lot of times, like, we don't know how to expect new goals. We don't know how to do that. So, like, how do I get new knowledge? How do I get new goals? So, for me, if we're getting stuck on something like, oh, I can't open my gym. How do we service people? How do we get great workouts? I need to pour as much information into digital learning. How do people train online? How are, like, online universities? How do they set a curriculum? How do people who, uh, you know, train remotely with trainers, like uh, Olympians and sports athletes who just receive a paper and have to do these workouts, like, these are all the places where my brain went last year to try and learn for you guys of like, what do we do? How do we make this not only just like work and sustainable, but how do people still get results? So when you get stuck, you need new knowledge or you need new goals. Sometimes though, we get a bunch of new knowledge, but we still don't know how to apply that to new goals. And I get in that spot a lot. This is actually part of the reason why I'm shooting this video is because I'm just kind of overcoming one of those periods. But it's also I'm going into another one because I'm trying to challenge myself and get to a next step and a next step and next step at an accelerated rate faster than what just normal uh, thermostat would allow me to do. So one of the first things besides just like knowledge and goals is like you need to know that like you deserve it. And that's a really hard thing to say. It's a really hard thing for I think me to embrace because I've never, I hate the word I deserve. So, but here's the thing is like, you need to know like your quality of character. You need to know your intentions. You need to know like your, your drive, your mission, your purpose. And if it's something that you want to live a longer, healthier life for like your kids, your family, yourself, you want to make an impact on the world, that's not selfish. Like you need to raise your thermostat. Like it, saying I deserve it sometimes is one of the hardest things I'm telling you. Like this is the one I, I suffer with the most, but sometimes saying I deserve it and then believing it is all you need to get to that next level. Because me, for instance, my example is 200 pounds is my goal. Like that's my threshold. I've talked to you guys about that in videos plenty of times. I got to like 201, 200.2, and also now I eat fast food and then I've had a couple mocha lattes, I've had a whatever, and man, I'm back at 202 and a half right now and I'm like, what the crap, you know? And it's my fault. But I also deserve to get below 200, but I know it's going to take a couple new things. So when you need to make that breakthrough, you need a couple of outside perspective. So I broke this into three categories. Like you need new mentors and new influence. So you need to find somebody who's done this before. Because if somebody's done it before, then you can do it too. And here's the example, and I, I don't want to blow this or mess this up, but I believe it was the five minute mile or four minute mile even. But like it had never been broken like a hundred years of like Olympics and competition and whatever. One person broke that, and I really think it's a four minute mile, but maybe I'm wrong. One person broke that, and then within like a year, two years, three years, it was like everybody who was in the top was running under that sub five minute mile or sub four minute mile or whatever. 
And so sometimes like we don't have to be the pioneer or the leader or the first to do things, but we need somebody else to do it so we can say like, I can do that too. Anything they can do, I can do better. Same thing. So not only do you deserve this, but if you see somebody else that can do this, now you know you can do this. So the next part of the three phases of like, how do we make that change is like you need new habits. So instead of focusing on the goal, I need to break the five minute mile, which is a bad example, but I need to break 200 pounds. What are the daily habits and rituals that I'm putting into my life that I need to eliminate or add in so that way I can get to that actual goal? What is this mentor or person that like has done it before? What are some of the things that they've done that I can incorporate into my life so I can do that too? And so that's where the habits come in. Lastly, that leads to them beliefs. Once you see that somebody else can do it, once you start changing your habits, and you've said, I deserve this, like the beliefs is the third part because the things that you can believe, you can achieve. Oh, that rhymed and I did not mean to do that. But this is where I have it set up here. So it's like once you need to make that difference of something new, you need new mentors and influence, new habits, new beliefs, and finally, that breakthrough happens right there. So if you have not had a breakthrough in a while in your life, this is what you need to hear. This is what you need to learn. Like you need to start putting in the effort and the time and the studies, I guess. You need to get new information, you need to set new goals. Once you get that, you need to say, I deserve this, damn it. Once you deserve it, you realize that you deserve it, find somebody who's done it before, change habits to match what they do, and then believe that you can do it. And once you do that, you're going to have some breakthroughs. Lastly, guys, if you have not read either of these two books, Perfect Day Formula or Max Out Your Life, do it. The whole idea of this is setting up your life so that things don't happen on accident, they happen intentionally. This book is about maxing out to meet your full potential so that when you get to heaven and God says, this is who you were supposed to be, and you guys meet, your identical twins, not complete strangers. So max out your life, get the fullest potential, guys, and I hope this lesson is perfect for you today.